Shalom to everyone who is listening and watching me at this time. Brothers and sisters, it is a very good day. And these are the days where I'm very excited whenever it gets to this moment of speaking the word of God. It always brings me joy because I know there's somebody that is going to benefit from this powerful word. There is somebody that is going to be blessed by hearing this word. And remember, the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. So the moment you start hearing the word of God and hear and hear and hear, your faith will be built up. And the Bible says it's clear it is impossible to please God without faith. So you must have faith if you want to please God. And I know many of you, if you continue with the faith, if you never give up on God and have faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will please him. Brothers and sisters, you are not listening to this message by mistake. This video has not been recommended to you by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you need to hear this video. Before you complain, before you can say any other word, Listen to the words that I'm about to say, because these are words that are going to really encourage you in the Lord. If you are new to this channel, I please kindly request you to subscribe to this channel, turn on all the notifications so that you never miss out on these videos. I have these videos that are released on a daily basis, and I also have a section of videos that I release on a weekly basis, which means that every week, at least once in a while, I will come here live in real time to pray for you, to speak to you, to get to know you, to encourage you, and to let you know about the goodness of God. Isn't that amazing? Where somebody comes live in real time just to speak to you, to pray for you. I know some of you need prayer. All that you need right now could be prayer. And you could be one way. You could be one step away from your miracle. One step away. From your breakthrough. Brothers and sisters, today's word is inquire from the Lord about your situation. If your situation has been bothering you so long, inquire from the Lord. Don't wait for the situation to worsen and start inquiring from the Lord. Inquire from the Lord right now. Even when you don't have a problem, inquire from the Lord. Inquire from the Lord about your enemies. If they are strong or weaklings, where they have placed their traps so that you can avoid them. Anyone who comes to your life, inquire from the Lord. Don't allow wicked, evil people, their body people to just enter your life and just play around with you. No. Anyone that claims to love you, anyone that claims to be your friend, inquire from the Lord about that person. You see, God will reveal to you about that person. In fact, God will reveal to you about that person before you ever, ever enter to your life. I want to read you a very powerful word from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 5, verse 18 to 25. 2 Samuel, chapter 5, verse 18 to 25. It reads, The Philistines also went and deployed themselves in the valley of Lephaim. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said to David, Go up, for I will doubtlessly deliver the Philistines into your hand. So David went to Belperism, and David defeated them there. And he said, The Lord has broken through my enemies before me, like a breakthrough of water. Therefore, he called the name of that place Baal Perizim. And they left their images there, and David and his men carried them away. Then the Philistines went up once again and deployed themselves in the valley of Raphaim. Therefore, David inquired of the Lord, and he said, You shall not go up, circle around behind them, and come upon them in front of them in front of the mulberry trees and it shall be when you hear the sound of the marching in the tops of the mulberry trees then you shall advance quickly for then 
the Lord will go out before you to strike the camp of the Philistines. And David did so as the Lord commanded him. And he drove back the Philistines from Geba as far as Geza. Oh, what a powerful word. See, David was attacked by the Philistines. They all came up to attack one person, and that was David. The Bible says it clear. David inquired of the Lord. He did not inquire from his uh, wise men. He did not inquire from his uh, friends, his family. No. He inquired of the Lord because he knew there is only one person that has the answer for everything. And that is the Lord. That is God. God has the solution for everything. Before you move out, before you go out on that journey, before you go out on that party, before you go out on that date, before you actually make plans, inquire of the Lord. Does the Lord want you to go or does the Lord want you to stay? Brothers and sisters, it is very important. Some of you, the relationships you are in right now that are draining you and dragging you down is because you did not inquire from the Lord. It's because God had already told you about that person a long time ago. But you took things for granted. You took things for granted. Had you uh, observed what God has told, had told you, you would have overcome your enemy. The Bible says it clear, obedience is better than sacrifice. It is better for you to obey. And remember, God speaks the Bible says it clear in the book of Job, for God speaks once, yet twice, but man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, he seals them instruction. God speaks to you, brothers and sisters. But the problem is that people have not yet learned how to discern the voice of God. It is important that you hear God for yourself and you know that it is God that has spoken to you, not your enemies. Because you your enemies, as much as God can speak, your enemies also are speaking to you. Your enemies are also sending uh, voices, thoughts into your mind. That's why you see some of you cannot sleep at night very well because you are so afraid. Fear does not come from God. Fear comes from the enemy. The Bible says Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So you ought to have peace. Brothers and sisters, it is not over until it's over. Inquire from the Lord. No matter where you are in life, just inquire from the Lord about that situation. Whether you made a mistake, inquire from the Lord. I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has really encouraged you. Brothers and sisters, until next time, shalom.